Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Banamsen uh, Coding. Today we are going to tackle a fascinating problem from the realm of dynamic programming uh, titled Predict the Winner. So this problem has a medium difficulty rating, but it uh, packed with a great concepts. So I will be explaining everything in Python, but don't worry if you're using different language, you will find the code for uh, other languages in the description below. So let's dive right in. So here is the problem. We are given an array of integer and two players are playing a game. And the rules are simple. Both players take turn. Player one starts and they can pick a number from either end of the array. So the chosen number gets added to uh, their score. So the goal is to have a higher score than the other player when the array is empty. So your task is to determine if player one can win the game assuming both player play optimally. So let's walk uh, through an uh, example to make this clear. Let's say uh, our uh, input array is one, five, uh, two. So yeah. Let's even write it. So we have one, five, two. So uh, if we have uh, this array, player one has the first move and he can pick one or two because he can pick from uh, ends of the array. So uh, both are the ends. So now, uh, so no matter which one uh, he choose, player uh, two can and uh, then choose uh, uh, five, because for example, if player one uh, take two, uh, RI will be one five after one iteration. So it will be uh, player one, P1, and player two can pick then uh, five. And the remaining could be picked by player one. So basically in both cases, whether a player one pick one or two, player two can pick the five that is bigger. So we need to uh, return uh, that it's impossible. So output should be false. Yeah, so uh, this leaves a player with a lower number. So output uh, is false. So all right, now that we understand the problem, let's dive into the code. So we will use a dynamic programming uh, to solve this problem. So the idea is to build a 2D DP uh, table where each cell represent the maximum possible score uh, difference uh, a player can achieve over uh, the other player. So we start by initializing our DP table and each cell uh, will be a DP IJ is filled by uh, considering the maximum of two scenarios, choosing the if number or the j number if the it number is chosen. So the score difference will be just uh, num i minus uh, dp uh, i plus one j. So if j number is chosen, the score uh, difference will be then uh, simply uh, num j minus dp uh, i j minus one, so previous uh, picked score. So we choose maximum of this two. So let's implement it and explain. So n will be uh, length of nums and dp will be zero times n four in range n and four i in range n minus one minus one four j in range i n if i is equal to j, dp ij will be num i. So else dp ij max num i dp i plus one j num j minus dp i j minus i and we return dp of zero n minus one greater than uh, zero. So uh, 
This is our implementation. So as mentioned pre previously, we sort by initializing mm, our uh, DP table. And uh, as you can see, each cell uh, in DP IJ is filled by uh, considering the maximum of two stoners, choosing the ith number uh, or the j number. And if i score is chosen, the score difference will be uh, the function uh, provided. So let's see this in action. So let's run it for a given test case and see if it will be outputted as false. So yeah, all uh, good because uh, we need to return the uh, logic uh, operation uh, that is difference between uh, two players. So if it's greater, it means that uh, we return true because uh, player one could win the game. So let's see this in action with an example of uh, 1, 5, uh, 233 and 7. So uh, player one uh, can ultimately achieve a higher score by first picking 1 and then 233. So no matter what player 2 does, player 1 uh, will end uh, up with a higher uh, score. So uh, as we can see, our code is working for uh, this simple test cases. So we have false and true for a second. So now let's run it for unseen test cases as well to verify everything working. So we have successfully completed the daily challenge day 60 in a row. And yeah, our implementation is quite efficient. It beat 91% with respect to runtime and also 70% with respect to uh, memory. And as we can see, our code uh, is working uh, for various test cases uh, and it's running in O and square time complexity, which is acceptable given our input size uh, constraints. And that's it. We have solved the predict the winner a problem using dynamic programming. So I hope this video helped you understand uh, this problem and its solution better. So remember, practicing uh, problems like this will make dynamic programming concept much easier uh, to grasp and more uh, intuitive. So if you have any question or if something wasn't uh, so clear, leave a comment down below and always uh, code uh, uh, as much as possible. And the code is also available in the description uh, in multiple languages. So that's all for this episode. So don't forget to like this video uh, if it was helpful uh, and you want to be a better programmer and subscribe for more coding problems, uh, explanation uh, and tutorials and much more. And happy coding, keep practicing, stay motivated and see you next time.